Os meus sonhos és a luz És malandrinha, não precisas trabalhar The time has finally come. Since I've seen this car when I landed in Hawaii a couple days ago, the only thing I could think about was driving this, potentially owning it, and just learning more about this weird little Daihatsu Midget 2. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. I really don't have any expectations. I think what I wanna see is, I guess if it's quick, but not really. What I like about this car, which is kind of rare, is the looks. That's the only thing I really care about it. I don't care if it's slow. I don't care if it drives weird. It's kind of a little odd because you're sitting in the middle. You can see the wheels are like that. You're not really on the left or the right side, so that might be something to get used to. But with that being said, this is a 1997 Daihatsu Midget 2. We're gonna pop the hood and see what that looks like. It is automatic from what I've learned in the comment section because I honestly know nothing about this car is that these only came in automatic and then the midget ones I'll show a picture of it right now that's the one with the open back those are available on five speed I've seen a bunch of those before even in person but I've never seen a midget 2 in person so this is kind of cool to see but it has 90,000 kilometers it doesn't have AC the radio is there looks like it has a rear wiper right there that's the defroster in the back. That's the fog lights. This is the lock the back. You can hear that. This is your coin holder. You got your cup holders here. I don't believe there's a center console or anything. I think this is where the AC would go if it had it. You got speaker one there, speaker two there. Here's your brake fluid. This is kind of odd too. I didn't even realize this. This is, again, you're like sitting in the middle. This is, look at it. Like this is a door and this is your mirror. It's kind of odd. Here's a little sun visor, headliners clean. Headroom is pretty decent. I'm like 5'9 and I have some space. It's not really a two seater. It's like one and a half seater. Yes, someone can fit here, but like, look at this. This is me sitting comfortably. Do I need to have all this extra room? No, but the person would have to have a seatbelt between their legs, which would be pretty uncomfortable, but it isn't a one seater. I wouldn't go that far. It isn't a one seater, but it isn't also like a full two seater, but you can fit two people if you wanted to. Roll up windows, of course. I'm actually curious to see how loud. Wow, I was gonna say how loud the radio was, but this thing is loud. Okay, I like that. Definitely would change this out and put like, oh my God, it'd be so cool to have a huge like Apple CarPlay screen right there. Like think about it, you're just driving here. Usually you have to look over there, you have to look over there, but it's like boom, right in front of your face. You see how fast you're going and the GPS is right there. That'll be clutch. I guess we'll turn the lights on, put the hazards on. Should I start it? Yeah, let's start it. Starts right up, sounds like a K. Doesn't sound any different. See how this looks with its lights and its hazards. I would definitely get like, oh my God, I couldn't tell you guys the plans I would have for this car. I would probably put like TEs or some very expensive rims on this car. Because it looks so weird and ugly, I would probably treat this car the nicest I've ever treated any car because it, it's not made to look nice. You know what I mean? If I buy a K-Truck, some people, even this one, this one looks really nice. The paint shines, the black shines. A car like this is just ugly. Everyone is gonna think it's ugly. So for me, I would go nuts. I'd probably buy coilovers, underglow, TEs. I'd probably polish it. I'd make this the nicest, ugliest midget you've ever seen in your life. So as you guys saw, if you flip this over, you see a nice little picture there. That'll unlock. I'm gonna unlock the back so I can show you guys what it looks like back here. There's a lot of room. I'll show a clip of me back here. I was able to lay back here, no problem. It's not tall enough where someone could obviously stand, but you know, I'm kind of on my knees and I could do this. And I'm, like I mentioned, about 5'9", and I can have my feet fully extended. I can sit back here like this comfortably. I don't know why I want to be back here for long, but someone can sit back here. But this is just perfect for me, because you guys know I obviously have a clothing line and stuff like that. So I'm always traveling with a lot of boxes. That's why I've been hesitant to buy like a beet or cappuccino, because I would lose all my space. But with this guy, it really is like the best of both worlds. I've been wanting a deck van forever for that, but this is just as quirky and just as weird as a K-van. Like, look at this thing. Here's a look at the motor can't really see too much you got the air box right there i wonder if it has the same motor as the k trucks and k vans it's a 97 so it'd be cool if it had the same motor as the s110 high jets lock this back up like so now for the most important part let's go on a drive see what this feels like if you guys saw my last video with Slater, he showed you guys that it's cool that this car you're able to put your hands out of both of the windows 
Like, I really do feel like I'm sitting in the middle right now. Like, I don't feel like I'm driving a right-hand drive car or I'm driving a regular car. I feel like I'm sitting in the middle, so that should be something to get used to in the first place. But let's put this thing in drive. See what this feels like. I definitely have power steering, which is nice. Brakes work good. First acceleration test, let's see. Not bad. I didn't really gun it or nothing, but it feels good. It feels smooth. This mirror being here is definitely something to get used to, but let's see. It's a three speed, so I'm not really expecting much. sitting in the middle it feels slow i guess it feels like an automatic slow k car it feels just like the life if not maybe a little slower i'm gonna get in this lane and i'm gonna punch it in a second i need to get a straightaway so i can see what it's like i'll see if i get this on the highway though let's see what that's like too seating position is actually really cool i'm not gonna lie i feel like i'm driving like an f1 car or something i'm like directly in the middle this is me punching it nice little sound to it. I didn't go anywhere with 30 kilometers an hour, but that sounded like I was doing something. Only has one wiper, just like the Honda Life. I got it straight ahead in front of me. Let's get on this freeway. I'm gonna punch it. The steering feels cool. Like this little middle seat is actually really dope. Look at this traffic, man. Definitely can't get in front of this guy. I'm not even gonna try. I don't even know what to say right now. It's just cool. It's like a, it's, a, it's exactly what I expected. It's a slow automatic K car. Like I mentioned, driving experience, least of my worries. Looks very important. This thing is sick. Look at back there, all that space. The fact that it's a one seater makes it even cooler. The fact that it could be a two seater is dope. Love the color. And it has good sound. Like here, look at this. going anywhere we only went like five miles per hour but that sound i don't know if i was an exhaust or something it sounds sick as much as i love the exterior of the midget 2 i think the interior is just as cool the fact that i could fully touch this window i can touch this window like i mentioned i'm kind of in a one seater this is all positioned really nicely got my cup holder here some little storage i got the gauges right here like i mentioned i'll put a big like apple carplay screen there i think we might find a straightaway though hold on let me pause that thought oh yeah we got it let's see let's see midget 2 and this Corolla's messing me up. Damn, I got to 70 on the brand. The brakes work amazing. Oh wait, we're back. We're back. Let's see, Major 2, can you do it? Can we get to 100? The driving experience is cool. Let me change the camera so you guys can see what it looks like from the other side. Coming to you live from the midget. So I was actually just talking to Scott. If you're watching this video right now, he told me that this is actually real wheel drive. This whole time I thought it was front wheel drive. But now that I'm driving it, I kind of do feel... Yeah, like the steering is a little loose. It's a little loosey-goosey, so it's definitely rear wheel drive. That makes it even cooler. The fact that it's rear wheel drive makes it even cooler. I would 100% buy a midget too and make it the coolest one ever. I know Marty Carmod did a cool one, but I think it was a midget one. I would make this deck out. I put way for the fame everywhere. I put my little moto pump on the back. Oh my god. My moto pump was yellow. This is yellow. Let's, 
listen, I gotta put the windows up. I gotta put the windows up. You can really hear what's going on right now. Oh, I'm going 80 kilometers right now. Hold on, I might have to put my phone out. We might hit 100. We might hit the hundo. Going 90. Hold on, this feels sketchy. <laughs> this feels sketchy. Alright, this is straight away in front of me. I don't think I'm gonna hit it though. Just made it back to JDM Hawaii. I've been driving this for like 20 minutes off camera. And in that time, I found two things that I'm not crazy about. One, seeing how it's a center seat, you don't have an armrest on that side or that side. And yes, you can have your arm like this out the window, but if it's raining or you want the AC on, it's pretty uncomfortable just sitting in the middle. You're kind of sliding back and forth on every turn. Not crazy about that. And two, seeing how the engine is here, you have a little bit of heat protection from your legs, but it isn't the best. I wouldn't be able to have my hand here for even five seconds. It's extremely hot right now. So if I bought a car like this, I would definitely have to add some heat protection some sound deadening but that really isn't a big deal and then the center seat is a little annoying but i mean no k car is really too comfortable but i'm in this video here here's another look at the midget 2 do not knock this out of the way for the fame future one of my dream k cars are az1 and i think this one is right behind it i know it isn't as cool it doesn't have gold wing doors and all that stuff but this is just a weird quirky car i've been driving around hawaii everybody has been like this everybody's been giving me thumbs up it's one of the cooler cars i've ever seen and i need to get one catch you guys on the next one let me know if there's any other car here you guys want me to drive i'm gonna see if i drive that sandbar van next because that thing is sick and let's see if we have another update on the way before the fame black cool suzuki carry i'm teasing you guys little by little because i don't think it's done yet but let's see let's walk over here i'll give you guys a better sneak peek let's see let's see Ooh. don't want to show you guys too much but this is coming along beautifully remember the name this is way before the fame